Good morning. We're so glad you joined us for Be Kids Time today. We can't wait to grow and learn with you today. Young's doing a new thing, making my heart sing. Let the one who boasts, boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord, who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in these I delight, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 9.24 Don't you just love it when you get a gift that you did nothing to deserve? Maybe like when your parents all of a sudden out of the blue just decide to buy you a new video game that you've been wanting for a long time but you weren't able to save money for. Or maybe when they decide to take you for ice cream or to the movies just because they wanted to. When we do get a gift that we don't deserve, we call that grace. Grace is a gift that you do not deserve. You see, the Bible says that God gives grace. 
And even throughout the big God story, we see God had brought the Israelites out of Egypt. He'd formed them into a new nation. He'd given these new rules to follow. And now he was leading them and he was guiding them. They were looking to him for everything. And the Bible shows us how God gives grace, how God gave them these gifts that they didn't even deserve. You see, God, every morning they'd wake up and they'd find food on the ground called manna. God provided for them. God gave them water when they needed it. He, he helped protect them from enemies and from wild animals. God led them through the desert and towards the promised land. God helped them even when they complained. And you better believe they complained. They said things like, the food in Egypt was so much better than the food we get here. They complained and said, God, we wish we had never been brought out of Egypt. We wish we were back in Egypt. And even through their grumbling and complaining, you know what God did? He still gave them the food they needed. He still gave them the water. He still led them and he still protected them. God even brought them to the border of the promised land. And the people, they decided to send in spies to check in the land and to report back to the people. God had prepared this wonderful place for them. But many of the spies came back and all they could do was complain about it. All they could do was see the negative sides, the bad things. They couldn't see that God had been for them and God was preparing the place for them. Only two of the spies had anything good to say. You see, God gave grace to his people over and over again. He gave them good gifts and good gifts and good gifts. But you know what? They didn't always accept God's gift with a thankful heart. And because of that, the Bible says that, that God made a tough decision. He said that none of this generation was going to enter the promised land because they had rejected God's good gift. That meant that the Israelites, they spent many years wandering around the wilderness, waiting for the next generation that God had promised to bring through to the good new land, to the promised land. You see, God wants to give us grace too. He wants us to trust him. He wants us to follow him and love him completely. We have to choose whether we're going to accept his goodness, whether we're going to accept his grace, or if we're going to reject it.
Lord, today we thank you. We thank you that you have a plan and a purpose for our lives. We thank you that you give grace. We thank you that just like with the Israelites, when we make a mistake, Lord God, that you forgive us and that you have just a way of helping us to see your will and your way. And Lord God, we just pray that you would help us to remember that your love is so much bigger than the mistakes that we make. God, we pray that you would help us to know that you love us and that you care about us. In your name we pray. Amen. We are so glad you joined us today, and we hope you learned something new. We can't wait to hear from you or see you in person. We love you.